Hey guys, this is Maxine, one of the social media managers at Vision Paradox. I'm also in charge of writing out the agency's newsletter. So this is why I'm here to talk to you a little something about copywriting. So here we go. The first thing you need to know about copywriting is your audience. You need to know who you're writing for and who's going to read it. On behalf of a Fortune 500 type company, you can't possibly just start it with, hey, you, what's up? Like, that's not a good look. That's not brand compliant with that type of company. Inversely, if you're writing for a startup like Vision Paradox, opening it up with greetings from Vision Paradox, may sound nice but you know it's a little too still a little too formal maybe you know start out with hey what's up guys like i just did earlier it doesn't make sense branding wise for a startup mostly comprised of people in their mid 20s early 30s to go that formal it just doesn't seem right so just knowing who you're writing for that's like the top priority obviously and then there's grammar and all that but definitely none of this stuff that you know about writing about grammar about all that would make sense or would even be that useful if you didn't know who you were writing for especially if you're managing someone else's social media accounts it is always really good practice to get to know who this client is how do they speak how do they write who are their audiences as a vision paradox we have our clients fill out some sort of questionnaire. It's like client brand profile. You know, we take a look at it. Social media managers come up with some sort of strategy, knowing how this client would actually say something online. It's kind of finding the client's voice in a way. So writing on their behalf, it has to definitely sound like they just wrote it themselves. You need to know how exactly this client would talk. See you in a bit.